One of the things we talk a lot about in the prepping world is security. Now I wouldn't consider this necessarily a bug out location, but it could be. It's way out in the middle of nowhere. It's in the wilderness. I've been coming here my entire life, so I know the area very well. And I would probably guess that there's not a whole lot of people in the world who could say the same. Probably some, but not that many. So, uh, not just considering this location, but really any location where you might have to worry about somebody coming up on you, maybe an uninvited guest of some sort. So, I wanted to try to think of a way that I could make a very low cost, but high effectiveness alarm. And uh, I think that uh, a tried and true tripwire alarm is probably just right. Now, I don't know if you can see behind me this trail that extends probably about as far as this camera can see. Now, this isn't the only way in and out of this area, but it's pretty much the only way that I think anybody uh, would, would happen upon where I'm at right now. It's really the only thing that could be considered a trail. And uh, it, it narrows pretty well down there just a ways. And I think I'm going to try what I like to call a high-tech, low-cost tripwire alarm. Now to do that, I'm going to be using one of these. I don't know if you've ever seen anything like this. This is a personal security alarm. Um, somebody might call it a, a rape alarm. Uh, the way that this is actually marketed is that you'd wear it around your neck from a lanyard. And if there's anybody causing trouble or trying to grab you or otherwise give you a bad time, all you have to do is grab the, the plastic part of this, the body of it, and yank. This little end here stays on the lanyard and the rest of it comes off. And as soon as this thing comes out, it does this. Now, I hate that sound so much, but that's the point. Now I've only made one slight modification to this. Now this thing is meant to uh, be yanked off of a lanyard with a little bit of force such that you don't accidentally do it because it's super annoying and the only way to make it shut up is to put the little key end back in. So I did uh, file down a little plastic notch to make it pull out a little bit easier because I don't want uh, I don't want there to be resistance when the, 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 the trip wire is tripped. So what I'm going to do is take some clear fishing line and run it between a couple of trees, try to make it pretty taut, make it just about uh, ankle level, and I'm going to rig this thing up off the side of the trail. So I think I'm going to run my trip wire from this tree just about to this tree. Now this is probably about, oh I don't know, about a 12 foot span. Now this trail narrows a bit more than that further down, but for the sake of this trial I don't think it really matters. As long as I can get it pretty taut I think it's going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and tie this thing up and then we'll go from there. Okay so I've got this running from that tree and I actually decided not to do this tree but rather the one behind it just to keep the alarm device a little bit off of the path and less likely to just be spotted. Now, this is actually kind of hard to do with just two hands because the stupid thing kept wanting to pull the key out and set the alarm off. Um, now, I'll mention that you could use paracord for this if you needed it to be stronger or if you didn't want it to risk light glinting off of it. Um, I don't know, I think unless it was nighttime, paracord would be more noticeable. Uh, now, the, the, the gist of this also is such that as soon as this thing goes off, it's going to be really impossible for somebody who's not supposed to be here to make it shut up anytime soon. First, they have to be familiar with, with this little gizmo and know how to shut it up. Um, they have to be able to find the piece if they you know if there's a lot of tension on this line that little piece is gonna go twanging away uh, but 
um, whatever happens, however long it takes them to shut the thing up, one thing is going to be true, and that's anybody nearby is going to know that somebody's coming up on them. Heck, maybe it's a coyote, maybe it's a deer, but they're going to know somebody's approaching. So I'm going to go ahead and pretend that I'm an intruder, and I'm going to just walk into this thing. And I'm really not looking forward to it because this thing's going to be so loud, and it's going to just kill the peaceful, beautiful, you know, uh, serenity that is these woods right now. So as soon as I trip it, I'm going to scramble over there to try to get the key back in to shut the thing up. I'm going to see how long it takes me to do it, and I know exactly where it is and exactly how to do it. So I'm going to come from the other side and trip into this thing. Oh, and I can't even remotely find where the key is. So I've stuffed this thing in my pocket just to make it a little quieter while I look for it. I'm going to just retrace the steps from where the trip wire is. Wow, this key twanged all the way back to that first tree. Alright, I'm going to set this camera down so I can shut this thing up. God, I hope to never have to do that again. Unless, of course, someone is actually trying to come kill me. Then I guess I'll be happy about it. But, oh, how I hate the noise this thing makes. But, I guess as you can see, it was successful. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. And, uh, if I have my way, I'm never going to do that again. So that's it. That's the high-tech low-cost tripwire alarm this thing cost I think about $15 and they make a few different kind I wanted to make sure to find one that had a loop on both ends so I didn't have to make that modification too a lot of them only have the loop on the end where a lanyard would go but there you have it hope you enjoyed uh, maybe next time I'll try to make a low-tech low-cost tripwire alarm I'm not sure what that would involve I'm picturing a bunch of tin cans or pots and pans that uh, fall from some kind of rope. But I guess that's it for now. Until next time, this is Great Lakes Prepping.